guys all right so we're not really exactly sure what we're gonna film so for now we're gonna go run errands and we'll just see where the day takes us for that though little fit check this is literally what we wear every single day apparently it's so cold in the car that the seat is frozen but at least it's warming up because it is one degree today which is better than yesterday when it was negative 15. All right, our first stop is going to be for coffee, and then we're going to have to go look for food, but it's really early, so I don't know exactly what's going to be open. I ordered the wrong size, and you can't cancel it, so. Yeah, so we ordered our drinks for free, because we have enough points to do that, and usually we make them as expensive as possible, but he messed it up, so. All right, we got the coffee. It's confirmed. Oh, there we go. Uh, and I also want to go get a car wash because it oh it's so bad outside there's a uh, snow all over the car and the windshield's starting to get kind of hard to look through and my car wash code's about to expire in like three days and we don't want that to happen because those are expensive so we're gonna go do that hopefully um there's no issues with it being too cold okay got the food covers of course because we're in the midwest and now we're gonna have to go get a car wash. Okay, we're at the car wash and we're hoping to do YouTube to have a more personal platform for our fans because our other platforms like Reddit and Twitter, they don't really have a structured um, way of communicating with your fans or telling you guys about our personal lives. Especially because we follow pretty strict upload schedules with the other platforms. I mean, we literally post on Reddit and TikTok and Twitter and hopefully soon YouTube every single morning. Um, but I feel like YouTube's algorithms are a little bit better, so they'll definitely allow us to post more often. Because right now, I feel like you guys don't really have a good idea of what we're actually like. You just see pictures and stuff. And so uh, just try to bear with us while we learn how to do YouTube and make interesting content. Um, I know this video is gonna be kind of all over the place, but we just wanted to show kind of what our life is like. I was kind of thinking we should do a, um, what I spend in the day soon because we try to stay on a budget, but we also happen to spend way too much. We need to get that in check because we um, have a lot of financial plans for this year that um, can't be possible with how we currently spend money. They are. On another note, um, I'm really hoping that my car does not end up freezing because that would probably be really bad. Um, but the, the wash was really overdue. I mean, my tires were literally turning white and they're supposed to be black. We got the rainbow foam too. <laughs> it used to be so much more colorful, I swear, like 10 years ago. And now it's kind of sad looking, but you know, who knows? All right, now that we're home, we actually have a bunch to do. Uh, we just got done eating, now we're going to make a TikTok so we can post that by 11. And then we are going to do school and film more content for OF and take pictures as well for that. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're both kind of lazy so we took a nap. And then I did my school before he just had to get up. And he just checked and apparently he doesn't have school today so I guess he's going to work on his boulders gate challenge. Mm -hmm. Because he's been trying to record a video for boulder skate literally all week but the challenge is too hard so he's gotten literally nowhere i on the other hand am probably going to keep looking at houses on zillow because it's a fun pastime but it's also kind of depressing because we really do want to move but everything is so so expensive um ideally we actually do want to get a fixer upper but even those are expensive for whatever reason. People are literally selling like houses that are falling apart for hundreds of thousands of dollars, which makes no sense. Um, and we don't even live in that expensive of an area. Uh, people ask us where we're located all the time. And while we can't say that specifically because we live in a really small town and it wouldn't exactly be safe to tell people where we live, um, I can't say, yeah, we live in the middle of nowhere. So houses should be cheap, but they're not. We're hoping to be able to find our own place this year. Um, hopefully we, we won't rent. I mean, I'd rather have something that's my own and I would really enjoy fixing up a house because it's literally what my parents did. And that's like, I don't know, it was a great bonding time with them when we were renovating houses together. And I'd like to be 
handy. So I think it'd be pretty fun. He said that he would help. Uh, don't mind the messiness. I doubt he'll help though, but that's fine because it'd be more so my project. There is actually a very low cost of living city near me, so I'm hoping we could possibly move there. I mean, the crime rates are really bad, but I feel like it's kind of all cities. I did live in a city at one point, and when I lived there, um, the area we lived in was considered the ghetto, and we literally had no issues. I mean, it was like three roads away from a trailer park, and we were perfectly fine. I mean, obviously, if you live in a city, you probably have to be a little more careful um, about what you're doing, but I think it's overhyped because I mean plenty of people do live there and if it was really that bad I'm sure there wouldn't be that many people. Timeline wise I would like to move sometime this year. Um, there's nothing wrong with where we're currently at it's just not enough space. I mean we're running out of room for all of our stuff. Um, we're at the point where like we have a bunch of things that are just unopened in boxes and we just store them anywhere possible. Uh, because we would need a larger living space to accommodate all the stuff. Not to mention I'd really like somewhere to put my car. Um, I don't have like a super nice car or anything. It's a very average car. Um, but I don't like being outside, especially because we live somewhere where it snows, rains, and storms very often. Um, and of course, being out in the country means that all of those storms are a little bit worse than they would be if we are in the city. Um, and I'm tired of my car being absolutely freezing when I get in it and being covered in snow and being hit by hail and sticks and I don't know everything that's outside. I've also had a bunny run out from under my car multiple times now and that's unpleasant because there's always a weird thunk. So yeah that's like one of the only things actually I'm really looking for in a house is that it has a garage for my car. Um, we actually only have one car too. Eventually, we're going to get another one, but we are trying to prioritize what we're spending on currently. All right, so we just finished going live for a little over an hour. Um, now I'm going to record some content for some of our other social media pages. The setup's not anything special or any of that. It's literally just a normal lamp, a tripod, and somewhere to sit. Um, and then I'm going to make dinner. All right, so dinner's not going to be anything fancy. It's literally just some barbecue chicken and rice. And yes, the dog is a paid actor. He's not supposed to be sitting here while I cook, but he's really cute, so I let him do it anyways. Um, and I promise I do know how to cook. I'm not just playing with a bunch of raw chicken in a pan, even though that is what this looks like. Uh, so basically, this meal is literally just barbecue chicken and Asian zing sauce poured on top of a bunch of chicken. And then I'm going to let all of the extra liquid evaporate out so that I get a nice thick sauce, which you can see right here, which is basically what it looks like when it's done. I've been told that it's basically like boneless wings without breading as well. Uh, and here's the final product. All right, well, I guess that'll be the end of this video. Um, we're about to eat, watch a movie, and go to sleep because it is already 8 p.m. Got the setup already, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys again later. Bye.